welcome back to my channel. This is Jackie from White Raven, Book Rook on Vancouver Island, west coast of Canada, and I'm here to share with you the Herbal Garden Collection box that I made. Um, there's a couple of tutorials made up fairly quick and sweet as to the basic construction, and then I just left the decorating um, to be done and um, then I said I would give you um, I would follow up and show you what I had I had done to finish it up so I um, put these letters on the box because I thought if you had a collection box that's probably what you would use and then there's a little stick handle and, uh, and it opens like this and I will put this up. so I will um, move these things out of the way a little bit so I can show you what's inside so in the lid I have a little book that's called herbal crafting and it's got a lot of information on the way of the wood woodwife woodwife <laughs> magical gardens and then some space for notes and then ethical wall crafting herbal actions if you're at all familiar with herbs you'll know what these are all about and uh, it's the basics of all of this crafting while crafting and uh, using herbs for infusions and decoctions. More notes. Incense and smudging, salves and ointments. And another little page for notes. Extractions and tinctures, liniments and rubs. And more notes lozenges and syrups, poultices and compresses, notes, and the last page. So this was a digi. Um, I can't remember who they were, but if you need to know, let me know and I'll try and figure it out. So it's just a little booklet that I made. Um, to go in here. So that fits right inside that and it's pretty snug so we don't have to worry about it falling out. And on this side I have attached a little clip and then I've got some tags, Here's a nice colorful one and then some smaller tags for identifying, oops, identifying some of the herbs um, that grow in your garden. And um, that would just clip back in here. There's actually a little safety pin on there, but I'll get that later. It's one of those teeny tinies. And then um, here, I have the, ins the main parts of the box, the inside part of the box. And in here is two smaller boxes and a little notepad little notepad that's just got elastic around it and a pen stuck in there and it's just covered with a paper to match and it's just paper inside for more note taking and it says what seems like the ordinary is often the extraordinary and I thought that went well with herbs you know they sometimes just look like weeds but they have some great um, herbal properties that can be healing so I put this little book in here and that just fits in at the back, in here like that, lays down. And in front of that little box, or in front of that book is a little box. And there's the box itself, it's all lined, pretty. And there's two boxes, there's another one here. And a spare. So um, in this little box, I've just um, put some of the collage paper over top of it, uh, the tissue, and um, 
if you want information, like I say, on exactly how I did all of this, you can go and check out the tutorials. I will link those um, in the description. So I just made a cool little box to keep the things that you might need when you're out there and uh, doing things with your herbs and doing a little research on um, herbal remedies. So I put some scissors in there if you're gonna do a little cutting and some clips and some small clips and some large clips and some tape and a um, little catch-all box that just, um, oh, it's struggling. So it's made out of a Tetley tea box and just painted and collaged. And that just fits right in there, side there. I have a couple of little bottles here. Um, if you wanted to um, put some water in and save some of the little herb cuttings or any little flowers or whatnot. These are um, old and from a friend. And then uh, I've also got a, a bundle of twine. So if you're going to do a little herb garden, um, so, and then this box fits in here, this booklet goes in behind, but I'll show you what's in this box now. Um, I used, um, Tim Holtz dies chapter three and made most of the things that will go in this little box, which is all decorated inside and out with uh, matching papers. And in here, I have a larger file folder that I just cut out of paper card and did a little um, tissue um, collaging on top or decoupage or what do they call that? Tissue, I can't remember, collage tissue, I think. And then I did some of these little cutouts and there's a couple of little herb, tea herbs. Mostly what I'm thinking of is some um, I'm going to make a tea garden, a tea herb garden, so this would be mostly for herbs for a tea garden. There's another little file folder that I made out of vellum. And in, I have a little vellum. They're both called vellum, but this is more heavy, I guess. And there's just a little paper bag if you needed to save anything. You could put that in there. I've got a couple of envelopes for seed saving later on in the year. And um, there are two different types. One that glues on the side and flips like that. I haven't glued it yet. Might need to put some more notes or something inside. And then there's this one. This is out of the, the dye collection. And um, it's just a little envelope that's, that goes this way. And I've just done some stamping and added a few little embellishments and tags and that sort of thing. So those go there. There's another couple of these tiny file folders. And very tiny. I always imagine that they're gonna be bigger than they are when I get the dies, but uh, that's what it is. So I just decorated and stamped a little bit on those. And uh, those will go there, and there's another one, a little decoration, a couple little decorations that can go on, what, something like this type of thing, and there can be decorations, can be added as we go, and it's again, just another one of those same size file folders. And um, that just is there. And then I've got a couple of these small envelopes, very tiny. And um, you can stick some seeds in there or some little notes, whatever. And then there's uh, this one, again, tea for healing. And in here, I just have a little information. This is a plastic window and stamped and embellished and then there's just a little thing about more teas 
that herbs that you can grow for teas like lavender, fennel, marjoram, echinacea, peppermint, basil, cinnamon basil, dandelion, peppermint. Did I say peppermint twice? Spearmint, peppermint. So those just go in there behind that little card. And then the last thing that I made for in here is um, a little tea booklet of different teas. And I made these out of the slide projector um, die. And that says lemon balm and then what it's good for. Eases anxiety, improves sleep. And then some little pictures of the different herbs with their name. And then on this side as well, I have a picture and the name and the remedies. So I just made this little booklet and it has, I think five pages, five cards, one, two, three, four, and the front cover, five. So there's chamomile and uh, lavender, calendula. I know you can make salve out of calendula, but I didn't realize that you could make tea out of it. Maybe you can't. Protects vision, homeopathic remedy for burns, rashes, and scrapes. So, but this I did get off of a site that says teas, so I guess you can drink it too. And then the last one, just a little, am I close enough on all of that? So just a little, a little booklet that I made with these slides things. So that's, um, that's going to go there. All of these little things are um, pretty much empty right at this point. But once I start getting my information together, I can start to label those file folders a little bit and um, poke stuff inside to um, organize my, my thoughts for creating a tea herb garden. Well, it seems like the ordinary is often the extraordinary, and I just love that. I thought that was nice, and I uh, thought this paper went well with it all. So, uh, there we go. That goes in there, and the box is tall enough that everything will fit inside, and it won't get crunched. There's no lock or anything on here. It just sits onto those little brads. There's little brads all the way around the box and then there's this paper that I embossed with the little brads um, and I painted them all gold. And this little um, stick I attached with some brads. It was a puzzler since I was going to figure out how to attach that but that's what I ended up doing. And this is the back of the box and it has some stamping, uh, some text and more brads on the back. So, there it is. I hope you like it. I had fun making it. And um, if you want to make one, like I said, I could, we got some instructions. And I was first inspired by um, a one of the makers on the Tim Holtz makers uh, when they did the chapter three dies demonstration and mix. I can't remember her name, but I do have her linked in the first tutorial. Anyway, um, thank you very much to everyone for watching, and I hope you like the little, the little box. I thought I'd make something different. I'm often making junk journals, but I thought for a change I would uh, um, do something else that I like, and that's um, gardening, and uh, I have an interest in the herbs. So um, take care of yourselves and um, we'll see you in the next one. I haven't got anything exactly in mind yet. Uh, I have a few ideas rattling around in my brain there as to what I might do. But um, right now I haven't got anything decided. But uh, uh, usually a couple of weeks and I'll have something else going. So watch for my 
watch for my site and um, if you're interested in the things that I create please consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you get the notifications and uh, like comment all that kind of thing appreciate your time thanks very much and take care bye bye Herbal Gardening Collection.